Okay, now we're going to install Tap to Date on the top field. So first thing you do is press the Recorded Programs key on the remote and tab across to with the tab key to get to Program Files. And there you'll see Tap to Date Setup Tap. So just highlight that and press OK and it will start to install. Now the first thing you need to do is make sure you do not put yes there. It's got to be no. So please select no, otherwise you'll be in a world of pain. Now it's installing. Uh, this takes a minute or two. It's got to go off and gather information, download it and um, install various things in various places on the top field. It's creating some new directories which we'll have a look at later. Um, and Believe me, it's worth the trouble to do this because you can install lots of things. Now here's a list just popped up here of uh, what's available in Tap to Date. We're going to do a press menu and just set a few things up in here. So yes, we do want to query the server automatically. We do want to see beta versions, so put that on yes. And just go down to, uh, we don't want the installer test versions I don't think. Uh, we'll, we'll be using TMS Commander later, so put that on yes. And I don't like TSR mode, it's a bit confusing, so I turn that off. Um, don't worry about TSR mode if you don't understand it. It's t uh, Tap to date is fairly simple to use. So we're finished here now. We'll just uh, exit out of that to save the settings. And now you'll see, once we come out of there, uh, a few new things. We've got some different display here. So this is your list of all your taps. And now the first one we should install is something called firmware tms.dat. Now this is a file which has information about every top field model and it passes that information on to the other taps that we're going to install. So there it is there, that one. And we'll just highlight that, press OK, and it'll bring up a list of the different versions available. We'll pick the most recent one and press OK again. And OK again to in do the installation. So it's downloading it and copying it in onto the top field. It's not really installing anything, it's just copying it into the right location. So we can back out of there now. Then we're going to look for a few more taps. Uh, I'm going to just put on the, the what I consider to be the uh, essential ones really. Um, so just back to the top of the list and work our way down quickly. Um, you can spend hours in here just familiarizing yourself and trying things out. Some of them are great, others are not so good. Some are only for uh, European top fields. So I'm just going to show you the ones that I use. Uh, hard, diff, um, hard disk drive info, I'm just installing that one now. It's just a matter of highlighting it, pressing OK and accepting the defaults usually. Uh, Inf Plus is another one that I use, it gives you information about your recordings. Uh, yes, this one we will start from auto start. Just say yes to that and it'll do the installation. Next one we're looking for is um, okay. Smart EPG is the one of the best things that's ever happened to top fields, I think. And there's a few few files we have to install here. So we'll start with this uh, font pack here. Um, just go up one and Smart EPG font pack. And there's only one version there. We'll just install that. Just takes a couple of seconds. Um, unfortunately, Smart EPG is not all that well documented. The information has been translated from an older version of the German manual, which is not particularly up to date. So it's a lot of trial and error to get things right, but it's worth it. So if there is a manual here. You can install that and copy it back to your computer. It's a PDF file. You can read it and have a look uh, and learn a few things from that. So we just finished installing that. Um, so the next one we're going to do is the actual Smart EPG program itself, which should be the next one down. There it is. Um, so we just press OK on that one. And 7.2 is the most recent version, only released last week. So you don't get much more up to date than that. 
install that yes we do want that one in auto start so say yes okay and it's installing just takes a few more seconds Now what it's going to do here is try and run for the first time and it's going to complain that it doesn't have any channels selected and it wants to do scans and things. I'm just going to say no, just exit out of this. We'll do the proper setup of Smart EPG in the next video. Uh, the EPG database is empty. No, we don't want to scan it yet. So we can see it's empty, but we're not worried about that at the moment. So we finished that. Um, back the last thing on uh, Smart EPG is a logo pack oh, well there's another program here called smart filer which you might want to install later we don't need it at the moment but it complements smart epg but we do want this um, smart logo pack australian edition so okay install that one uh, this will have new logos for a lot of the new channels i don't think it has everything in it there's still a bit of manual work needed but We'll get Smart EPG up and running with what's there and see what else we need later. So that's finished. Um, there's still a few more we want to install. Um, just keep on going down. Time shift saver is very handy. Um, when you're channel surfing, um, it saves every time you change channels, it saves the uh, last little bit of recording and it automatically deletes them after a day or whatever you want. So you can, if you miss something, you can jump back and still find it. Um, it's quite handy. doesn't take up much space. Uh, TMS Archive is very good. It, it um, does a lot of cataloging of your files, can put them in directories and rename them, do lots of things like that. Again, put it into Auto Start. It's a good program. Um, the next one is TMS Commander. Now, I probably should have installed this one first because it's the one you use to manage all your taps. Yes, put it in auto start. Um, and it's, it's used to stop and start taps and to go into the setup menu for taps. Um, so it comes in handy. So that's what the TMS Commander screen looks like. You just press the exit button and up it comes. So there we've installed half a dozen taps. Um, now we have to reboot the top field and when we come back we'll do the setup on all of those taps and that's where the fun starts. See you then.